Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jack Graham here, Realtor with Simply Vegas. Today, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different than the usual model tour. What we're gonna do is we are going to test this house that we're staying in right now, which has high tension power lines behind it and see if this house actually has um, any issues with it or if we can really uh, test. I have this tool right here in my hands that we're gonna use to test it's actually an electromagnetic radiation tester so it really tells you whether or not you are in danger in your house if you live next to power lines that's what we're going to try to do i don't know i haven't tried it yet in this house uh, but what i did do is i tried it within my house my house doesn't have any power lines in it and uh, i'm gonna put a little a little video right now a little clip of what i found right now all right, so I'm home and I'm gonna test it out first to see what, uh, you know, how this thing works, you know, the electromagnetic uh, radiation tester right here. So uh, as I go and move around throughout the house, I notice, you know, as I get closer to my TV over there, which I think I have a, a router, it's a Wi-Fi router. And as I get closer to it, it goes up one, 338, 398, 400, 468. That's pretty high. And then as I get away from it, it goes down to, what is it? 40, 30, so this is within the normal range. Anything up below 50 is okay, apparently. Um, for some reason, when I get closer to this spot, I noticed, which is like a regular couch, Holder, this one has like a, a charger. You can charge your phone on it, 200. As I get on top of the speaker, it's at 900. I think it depends also if I have my phone next to it. 400 right now, so it's pretty high, okay? But as I'm away from it, that's okay. That's, you know, there's nothing here in the kitchen, nothing to worry about. Um, just to show you, you know, look, as I get closer here, maybe it's this cooktop here. Yeah, it's definitely this cooktop. This is an induction cooktop. So it has more electromagnetic field, I guess. But I have to be at a certain height in order to, to see it, you know. So, yeah, that's it. So let's go see this house. So as you can see from that clip that I put in, you know, there's a big reaction to uh, your Wi-Fi, and uh, I heard that was going to be the case anyway. So that's something that makes me think, oh, maybe I should, you know, remove this Wi-Fi, put it away from me, at least away from where I sleep, and uh, put it in a different location. I think that might be a good idea. But now let's see how this thing reacts under the power lines in a house that has, you know, power lines behind it. So that you can make a decision whether or not this is a good thing to have, uh, or I mean, if this is a thing that negatively can affect your health. Now, I don't know about the studies. This is just from what I heard. I haven't read the studies or anything, but I'm just showing you what I found in this house. So I'm gonna turn it on. Now, just for comparison, you can see here, we are in this house that's being built right now. So there shouldn't be any electronic device or anything. And the way this, uh, I was doing some research, the way this uh, thing works is that uh, what happens is the, electro uh, the electrons and uh, protons, uh, they exchange photons and things like that, and then it creates this electromagnetic field around it. And that's what's causing this, you know, this interference with this tool over here. So as you can see here, we're on the first floor and I don't get any uh negative impact here it's only at four which is very low it's within the range once it starts beeping red it's it's a little bit more alarming now let's go outside it's tested outside and uh on the way here however i did drive under the power lines and it did give me a reaction so i'm gonna show you what that is towards the end of the video because i'm gonna go out and go under the power lines. Here in the backyard, 
it went up to 46. Now these are the power lines right there. They're on the other side of the street, technically, okay? So you can see high tension power lines. We are, you see the house over here, you know, so we have about a 30 foot backyard here on these homes. And then we have a whole street behind us. Going towards those power lines. But, you know, we're about, let's say about 100 feet away from the power lines from here. And this is reacting. Now it's not too bad. It's like 77. It's beeping as you can hear it. As I get closer to the edge, uh, it's about, it's within limit. It's not too bad. Just a little bit. And I'm here on the property, which is about 100 feet away from from the house, okay? As you can see, we're at 106 right now. That's a little high, but nothing compared to what my Wi-Fi did to, to this thing. So now, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go up to the second floor and third floor. Actually, we're lucky because this house has three floors in it. So inside the house, there's virtually nothing. And uh, that's that's what makes me think, maybe it is just fear. Now, the fact that this could affect your house value, regardless of what the test is really showing us, uh, yes, that could be the case because it doesn't matter what, what you find out, it matters what people believe. And if people believe it's a bad thing to have you know, power lines behind you, then people are not gonna buy. But as you can see here, it's around 24 within reason, you know. In 19, we're out in the front of the balcony. The front balcony. There are some other power lines on the other side over there. We're gonna drive under there. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Within the house so far, it gets very low. So it looks like we're safe in the house. We're on the third floor now. So literally we are, let's see how far we are from the power lines here. Trying to get closer, still a six. There are the power lines over there. You can see through the window. Still nothing within the house. And I, you know, this is the closest I can get to them from inside the house. So, so far within the house, we haven't noticed anything really significant. I mean, so, so far inside the house, we haven't really noticed anything really uh, concerning. We were like six or seven. That's where you sleep every day. Sometimes you might go to the backyard. It's, it has a little bit higher reading, but really nothing major concerning when it does beep is a little bit more towards the end of the backyard now let's go under the power lines go straight under and see what happens because uh, right now we are outside in the front of the house i'm away from all the power lines and it's beeping a little bit it has a little bit higher frequency so and it's already beeping so within the house it's fine outside even though we're not under the power lines it's beeping now let's drive over there and see what uh, what happens still low see those power lines over there that's literally like the biggest ones we have out here Still, we're only at nine. Check this out, we're about to approach them. You see it's going up to 20, 22, 26, 27. Okay, we're under them. There you go. 79, 112, 135. Okay, 205, we're right underneath these power lines. And we are at 230. So underneath the power lines, we do see a reaction. Let's go under these other ones. Let's see what, what happens. 
And literally, these are very, very short. I mean, they're they're literally above our head. It doesn't get any lower than this, I think, on the power lines. And we're still at 350, 360. So obviously we have some kind of uh, electromagnetic reaction. And see, as we go away, it goes back down to one, up, oh, there you go. We're out of the power lines, uh, electromagnetic magnetic field. Now, we're gonna go back in I think they have right here an exit to that place. Oh, it's beeping again. I gotta go back under the other ones. I'm gonna go behind the house actually that we were in. Okay, what's going on? Why is it like this? It's beeping now, but it's only at 12. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm going back under right now. I'll show you again. I'm right under now. 200. Sorry, I have to turn, you know, so. I'm still under, but now I'm getting away from them. So we're out. Now we're gonna go behind that house and see how it reacts from that backyard, which is as far as we got to uh, as close as we got to those power lines, we're gonna see how it reacts on that side. Okay, I'm driving on that road right now behind the house and it's at 115, 125. Okay, here we go. We're at about 55, so not too bad. Let me get out now. Go under the power lines. As you can see right now, we're at 393 and they're right above us. These are a little bit higher than the ones that we were under right now. Still, as we get under, it goes up 500. Now, now I'm standing just underneath them and we are at around 500 here, 520, 530. Yep. So as we get closer to the house, which is actually this house right here, it's that one right there that we were in. As we get closer to the house, still at 300, but it's getting lower, 250. Down to 150, 115, 30, 43, okay. So, pretty much guys, it looks like as long as you're about 100 feet away from it, you're virtually not gonna get any reaction, like any reaction from this tester. Uh, if you do get a reaction, it's like very insignificant. Within the walls of your house, as we noticed here, it got up to 500, that's a lot. But within the walls of your house, it was around six, seven, four. Literally, there's no electric magnetic field right there. So, which means within the house, you're safe. Even outside the backyard, very low. What you should worry more about, this is my final conclusion about, uh, about this, is you should worry about your Wi-Fi. Because that was like 900 to get close to the Wi-Fi. That was pretty impressive. So. I don't know if there's studies out there. If you guys know of any studies about uh, proximity to high tension wires and you know how close you need to be, or if you are next to it, if you do get cancer or whatever, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to read them, but I haven't really done much research about this. This is just an experiment for my client to show them the electromagnetic field and uh, show them you know if this actually affects them. If it's an issue with like. You know, obviously my client is worried about, you know, the electromagnetic field in the house. 
we need to test that. And that's what we did. And the house looked fine outside of the house a little bit. It wasn't that great. But then underneath the wires, it went up to like 500. But um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Any thoughts, concerns? I'm just a guy that I'm not a physics major or anything. I don't know anything about this stuff. I kind of understand a little bit um, the way it works, the electrons and uh, what's it called? The, the protons. They create this electromagnetic field that kind of you know pushes away or pulls together the the two uh, the two and uh and then it creates this electromagnetic field now i don't know what the consequences are to the human body if this causes actually issues but i want to know your thoughts and then uh let me know what you guys think i know it was a little bit different video than the usual ones that we do but i feel like it's something we should cover uh if if you know you're in the in the market to purchase a home. And if you want a realtor that will do this for you, they'll go out there and I'll test it and do the work, you know, especially if you're from out of town and you can't do this yourself, reach out to me. I would love to be uh, your realtor and help you out throughout this process. See you on the next video.